Six, a little girl's life forever changed in a moment, an instant. Akira Muhammad was riding in a car with her sisters when a fire truck collided with them. The vibrant seven-year-old suffered a traumatic injury, and two and a half years later, she is still recovering from those injuries. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens sat down with the family in a story that you will only see here on 11 Alive. Latasha, this crash turned the family's life upside down, and they believe three parties should be held responsible. That's right, Jeff. The family says Akira was a fun, loving little girl, full of life and full of hope. But this horrific accident has left her unable to walk, speak, or even sit up on her own. They say after two years of being in and out of the hospital and emotional strain, there's only one way to get justice for their little girl. Sue those who they believe are responsible. Hey, dude. Shout out to everybody in Ketka. This is Akira at six years old. She was um, full of life. She made everybody laugh. And this is her now. Good job, Mama. Her voice silenced, her spirit still. Her mother, Ruth Muhammad, is spoon feeding her pureed lentils for lunch. She can't eat solid food. Akira is living with a traumatic brain injury, stemming from this horrific crash on her seventh birthday. It happened at the intersection of Upper Riverdale Road and Old Dixie Highway. 11 Alive Sky Camera shows the aftermath. Ground video shows the front end of the Mercedes underneath a Clayton County fire truck. Three of Ruth and Stanley Muhammad's daughters were trapped inside. 18-year-old Sophia, the driver, eight-year-old Mariam in the back seat, and little Akira in the passenger seat, all on the way to pick out a birthday gift. Akira was in critical condition for two months. Normally, as a father, I would be able to correct problems that my daughters are going through. You know, daddy, take care of it. Daddy would do it. No problem. Daddy can do it. But in this moment, I could not say daddy would take care of it and make it all right. Sophia also had injuries. Her face was bloody. It was all cut up. I wonder why all these lacerations on her face. And now I find out it was from the defective airbag. Now the Muhammads are suing Mercedes-Benz and Takata for airbags they believe were defective. They say they only received a notice of the recall after the crash. We got a notice in the mail after the accident. However, they knew before the accident that the car was defective. Also named in the lawsuit, the Clayton County Fire Department, stating the driver was in the wrong lane and did not use caution while traveling through the intersection. The firemen were not on a call, so emergency signals were not in play. An attorney for the Clayton County Fire Department says this traffic camera video, taken from another intersection, places blame on the teen driver, not the firefighters. The county is filing a motion to dismiss the lawsuit. But we know God can restore anything. While the Muhammads are grateful they can still hold little Akira, it's hard not to cling to the memories of the little girl she once was. To know her for six years and all her excitement, you know, her spirit and just the loving little girl that she was. And not to be able to, you know, see that even though she's here the family says medical bills and legal fees have taken a toll on them. The father is currently representing himself. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help with some of those medical bills. Now we reached out to Mercedes Benz and Takata. When we hear back from them, we'll put their statements on our website. Jeff. All right.